Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel Spilfaring Fellowship. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is a special unboxing and review of the new Gundabad Berserkers. So I got a nice box um, in the mail uh, today with uh, my four packs uh, along with some other goodies. And, uh, and I thought I would be doing an unboxing of, uh, of this wonderful product. So um, I will be moving from the, uh, the Steadicam, <laughs> if you could say that, on my computer to uh, my, um, my camera and uh, show you the contents of the box now. Here we are guys and it is uh, time to unbox this wonderful box blister of uh, of models so um first of the new models that actually come in a blister pack um all the other dwarves have come in boxes uh with dane ballista and iron hills warriors come in boxes this is in the blister and it has some nice uh, artwork on it uh well not artwork picture of the actual model so you could actually hang this up in a shop and you could see exactly what you're going to get um Seems to be uh, some um, resin spruce um, with uh, some bases in there. Uh, no assembly guide included as I can see. But let's pop this baby up and uh, show you the contents more in depth now. Okay, so here we are with the contents of the blister pack. So as I suspected, there was no assembly guide, just a clear sheet on the behind but it seems that they will be um, quite easy to put together so uh, first things off the bases are 25 millimeter bases uh, not the 32 millimeter bases which we were originally suspecting so that means that so far um, none of the um, none of the uh, models for SPG are on 32 millimeter um, we are going with the normal size bases for now, uh, at least. So, opening the packet, um, it seems like one of the heads has gone off its sprue. And, a bit of a shame, one of the swords have been snipped off the arm. But I don't suspect that will be a problem for me, personally. Um because I will be using um, a host of different weapons from four packs uh, of models so I'm, I'm guessing that I will have more than enough models for everything so that's good so let's have a look at the quality so for me the quality is on par with what I would be expecting after seeing the um, the new Iron Hills Dwarves in the flesh. And um, there's some very nice detail on it. You can see the buckles on the back there. Um, looks like it has some undercuts. Um, nicely done. And also some extra bits you can pop on. Uh, two of the models have an optional head um, and that's one of the drawbacks with the kit I was hoping that all of the heads could be interchanged which would mean that you could potentially have a lot more variety in your models um, than you would um, otherwise but um, it's good uh, I um, I like the models I really like their aesthetic uh, I like their size so if we just have a look at Bulg, so I'm just putting together my Bulg and put him together with uh, one of the new models. You can see that the, he is slightly taller than the raised one, ever so slightly taller. Um, let's see with Azog, he's obviously bending a bit and the same thing. So. Azog and Bolg will still be the biggest orcs uh, on the market, but these guys are uh, huge, <laughs> to say the least. Um, there's 
not a lot of flash. There is uh, none of your fine cast um, tabs anyway. So I'm guessing uh, just put these in soapy water and gently wash them and then um, just scrape off uh, whatever small pieces of flash there is. Uh, and um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of mold lines on them as well. So you can see here the extra leg for, well not extra, unless you want him to have a peg leg or something. Um, and um, the arms are the ones that are missing those, or uh, hand, uh, arms here. And then we have three different weapons. So you have the axes, some very vicious looking barbed axes. Um, so you have one for two hands, you have uh, two for one hand. And then you have the swords, so sadly one of the one hand swords are missing. Um, and it's lying there beside it. So, um, but I'm not going to make a fuss about that since I have uh, four new packs. If you are, um, if you are in the situation that you have bought yourself one pack and wanted to have swords on everyone, um, Games Workshop customer service is one of the best in the world. Um, so just provide them with a picture and I'm sure they will replace um, either the lost parts or give you an entire new blister. Um, as they are likely to do uh, since it's cheap to them for them to just give you a new blister than to remove an item and cast up a new one. Um, and there you have the uh, vicious looking two-handed axe sword thingies. And they look great. I'm a bit worried about this bit um, with transporting, but it looks very straight. It doesn't look crooked at all. So none of the bits I have seen requires any straightening. And you can see here the um, back of um, of the raised model as well as one of the heads and the last head is on the sprue here uh, is out of the sprue here so some wonderful detail on the heads as well really characterful and I, I do believe that uh, these models are better in miniature form than they are in CGI in the movies so wonderful work there uh, I do believe it's Keith uh, who have made these. Again, um, neither Forge World nor Game Social does credit their um, their uh, miniature designers uh, at this point, which I find a bit of a shame because I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, so I know Keith did Dane, and I know Keith did uh, these, uh, but. Um, it's a bit of a shame that we don't know who made the models, unless we uh, ask, of course. You can always ask, but they don't give credit out, and that's a bit of a shame for me. So, wonderful kit. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Uh, and I want to... I can't wait until... Ooh, when do I have to have these ready? So currently the video for these will be launched on November the 18th of 2017. So I do have some time to paint up these 12, but um, I, do, um, I do look forward to painting those and I think I'm going to paint those up a bit earlier. Um, I have starting to have a huge Gundabad army and I uh, want to do more for them. So I'll probably paint these when I paint the trolls. Uh, ogres and trolls and hopefully as Ogre signal tower as well that will be an awesome model i do believe so thank you guys for watching this unboxing uh, as always remember to um to uh, comment like share and especially subscribe now that we have our a thousand subscribers competition uh you only have to subscribe to be able to win a box of guild ball um a guild ball team as well as a rule book for Guild Ball. So do that and uh, and uh, I will be back with more unboxings during Christmas, uh, during the holidays, um, including Blood Ball referees and a big special treat. So um, until then, 
have a wonderful uh, holiday celebration and happy strategy battle gaming.